What is up guys, DZ here. Today we are talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and what I feel this game needs to survive in the long term. Now this is kind of like a sequel to the video that I posted about a month ago called Master Duels in Trouble. And in that video it was like the start of season two and I talked about the lack of content and my worries for this game's longevity. Now that it's been basically the entire season, we've seen some additions added into the game and I wanted to talk about those a little bit, but also I want to talk about what I want to see out of season three. Season three should be coming in early March, I would assume. I believe that this season does end on February 28th. Yes, it does. So we don't have that many days until season three probably starts, and I want to talk about what I hope to see in that season. So let's talk about season two for just a moment here. When it released, there was basically no new content. The big change was that you could no longer derank from Platinum One, which by the way was a great change change, but there wasn't really anything else that Konami edited. However, over the month, Konami did add a few more things. We had the first event in Master Duel, which is one thing that I did talk about in that video from a month ago. Yeah, the event was nice. You know, it was a cool alternative format. It gave people lots of free gems. I think the ban list was close to being perfect, but they probably could have hit a few more cards. They also added a solo mode, so I um, have not played it yet because I'm not uh, through all the solo mode uh, duels here, but they added the Light Sworn solo mode. Now, from what I've heard, the duels in this mode were pretty good, but the rewards are pretty bad. I guess there was no new, like, cosmetics. There's not really that many good cards given away. So that's kind of disappointing, but at least the duels were fun, I guess. And that's pretty much all of the major stuff that they added in Season 2. It's still not a ton of content, but they did add more over the month, which is good to see. Now, as we're headed into Season 3 here, what do I want to be added into Master Duel? Well, there are a few things. First off, please Konami add more ranks. I know that not everyone has been able to get to Platinum 1, there's nothing wrong with that, but this really needs a rank like King of Games that everyone is aiming to get. Now I know that in the leaks there have been some other ranks that people have seen, and I do hope those get added to the game. I believe one even had like a blue eyes as the symbol, which is pretty cool, but at the moment all we have is Platinum 1. I hope Konami adds a few more ranks with Season 3, but I'm not sure how likely that is considering with season two, there weren't really that many updates on day one. Also, I think that Konami really needs to add some more cards to this game. It is different compared to Duel Links because this game launched with like thousands upon thousands of cards, so they don't necessarily need to bombard us with a bunch of new cards, but this game is pretty far behind the TCG. We don't have uh, all of Dawn of Majesty or Burst of Destiny or Battle of Chaos, and also we don't have the rest of like the Leerless set, and they're missing some like older promo cards from like the 2019 Megatons, but it's very far behind the OCG, which is already ahead of the TCG, so this game is missing a lot of cards. And I realize for people that maybe are only playing Master Duel, they don't really care about that, but for those of us that do play Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life, this game does feel pretty far behind. Um, with that, I'll say that the ban list feels like it could use a few adjustments. I don't know if I'm holding out hope for Season 3 to introduce a TCG ranked mode and an OCG ranked mode, but I would like to see at least a couple changes to the ban list if they're not going to add the TCG and OCG ban list like entirely, especially because I'm a TCG player. I feel like this ban list is so different. There's a lot of cards that I really don't want to see in this game. It's funny, I've seen people talking about on Twitter like, oh, this card should be banned or oh, this card should be banned. And almost all the time they're talking about cards that are already banned in the TCG and have been banned for a very long time. Pretty much all of the super annoying cards in this game for the most part are already banned in the TCG. TCG format. So I would like to see some sort of ban list update, even if they're not doing like the TCG and OCG thing yet, I would like to see them like change a few things on the ban list. Because while the format in this game is fun and unique and I have been enjoying myself, I do think that it could use a few updates. At this point, the format has basically been solved. We already know the top decks, but without any new cards added or a new ban list added, there's really not a reason for the metagame to change at all. So I hope with season three, we either get new cards or a new ban list. Furthermore, I'll mention that I really hope that Konami eventually restocks these gem deals. I know that this one has uh, 32 days left, so we probably will have to wait a little while for that one, but even giving us the opportunity to buy like three of the less good gem pack, the 1500 gem one, would be pretty nice. You know, having these reset or like one of them reset every season would be a pretty good addition. It's kind of crazy like how few gems you get for $80 in this game. The uh, bundles, the sales, 
sales here are really good and I do advise people to buy them if they haven't already and you want to spend like a little bit in this game but not a lot but the actual regular gem prices they're just not quite good enough I would like to see Konami change the gem economy a little bit in this game but realistically I doubt that's gonna happen um, so I think the alternative is either they bring back these uh, bundles which are great or they give us more events like the exceeds festival because that one gave people tons of gems for very little effort I mean even ignoring like the self TK deck um, it wasn't that hard to rank up in that mode I played like my master saga account because we played a different account for that and I used my actual like master saga deck and I won almost every single game it was really funny so I really do think that either Konami should bring back these bundles or they should give us more events that also have good gem payouts because people really enjoyed that part of the exceeds festival also and maybe people don't care about this as much as I do but come on Konami add some more cosmetics into the game these are all cool but I mean there's so many leaked cosmetics not only for the pets here but also for like dual fields and stuff like that we need more cosmetics you know I talked about in the last video about a month ago that I wish the battle pass had more cosmetics but we're kind of past the point of talking about that because it still has like a month before it counts down so that'll be more like the season four discussion but uh, I really wish Konami would add more stuff to the store here these things are all cool and when the game first launched it was like okay sure I mean the game's brand new who really cares there's a number of different options to choose from here so I mean it's understandable that like a new game would only have this many options but we're about a month and a half in now and we're entering season three so I really hope Konami adds more cosmetics to the game once again here I don't know how likely it is that we get new cosmetics with season three it seems like Konami has been really slow to add cosmetics to the game obviously they have other stuff to worry about but cosmetics do matter in a game like this this game looks great players want different ways to express themselves and I think cosmetics especially pets and fields are the best way to do that so I really do hope Konami adds more cosmetics to the game I don't know for sure but uh, correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure no new cosmetics have been added to the game since it was launched right I mean the store is exactly the same we do have like a new structure deck that was added but that was it right no new cosmetics I'm pretty sure about that but let me know in the comments if I am wrong and that's just kind of surprising because a lot of these free-to-play games actually do make a decent amount of money with their cosmetics and I think people would actually be willing to spend gems on good cosmetics like a lot of the really nice leaked pets that have been out there for quite a while for example I'm really excited about white baking that was a leaked pet where is that card I wish I had that as a pet in this game but at the moment it has not been added that pretty much covers what I want to see in season three for master duel I want to see more cards perhaps a ban list change I want to see more events I want to see more cosmetics I want to see all sorts of cool stuff added and I really hope Konami does do at least a few of those but who really knows I mean this is Konami we're talking about they're not always the fastest with changes like this but I will say that they have been very fast to address like cheaters in this game and complaints from the community Konami's actually been really good so far about communicating with the player base about master duel changes they've been listening they've done a bunch of changes because of the community complaining about things and I do hope with season three that they know that they should add more content to the game I'm pretty sure that they do know that but you know it's kind of weird because with season one it was only a couple weeks so no one really expected anything and then with season two you know people were willing to give them a break because oh it's the first full season of the game you know I obviously wanted to see more but a lot of people out there said on that video that I made about a month ago like don't worry you know it's only season two it is the first full season but it's a new game so maybe Konami isn't going to add stuff right away but now that we're heading into season three and we really haven't seen any major changes to the game at all I'm hoping that Konami realizes that they probably should add a few things here and there anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section below what you think Konami should add in season three if they want Master Duel to stick around for a while I think season three actually does matter quite a bit you know with these types of games the start of a season is always a great time to get people invested in the game once again so I hope Konami adds more content to appeal to returning and new players anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'll see you later. Goodbye.